Hey girl, it come with an egg here. Uh, just making my worst video, uh, warning you now. So go ahead and unsubscribe and unlike and don't comment, uh, cause this video is gonna be weird. I was hanging out, uh, just yoking around. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, waiting for my favorite YouTube channel, uh, The New 80s Revolution, to make that video. Uh, you know, I, I, I kid, it takes me five minutes to make a video. I just do some fart jokes, stream for three minutes, and then post it. His actually has, like, production values and editing and music and stuff like that. So as I wait for that, I'm just going to go over something about the 80s, the 1987 Topps ALF cards. I usually like to show kind of rare, hard to find sets. And let's just say, this is not one of them. These were horribly overproduced, uh, just like anything from 1987. You get these weird, crazy things. Go back and watch ALF episodes on uh, DVD or streaming or something, and they just do not hold up. The canned laughter on the unfunny jokes and just bad social commentary of the time. I think I used to think the daughter was cute. But anyway, um, yeah, so this is the ALF set. Uh, unlike most sets I do, kind of virtually worthless. But uh, 69 cards, <laughs> 18 stickers uh, is what we have here. So basically, these are just weird, wacko cards with, like, actual storyline. Like, they actually take it seriously and tell you about the storyline. Then they made baseball cards called Jabulia Baseball Cards. Ah. And uh, you got a set of those included in this. I collected these back in the day. I didn't know any better. I was a little kid. Don't judge me. But the stickers were kind of cool. actually ended up holding on to them. These ones you can put on, like, a uh, Christmas present if you want. Like... Where's the Christmas present one? There it is. But anyway, yeah, these cards are genuinely worthless. Just wanted to give a shout out on that. Like I said, this will be my worst video. So uh, I'm not going to play any music on this video. I like music. I don't know if any of my 24 subscribers like it. This is my 24th video, by the way. So keep subscribing and I'll keep making more videos. And I challenge other YouTubers to make as many videos as you have subscribers. Yeah, that's easy to say. I hardly have any, but I just hang out drinking cheap beer and cheap whiskey, uh, eating gummies and making a video. So for the remainder of the video, I'm going to go over the booklets of old CDs that I have in my collection because I'm an old man. You got the Rage Against the Machine, you got the Biohazard, you got the Nativity in Black, you got the 10 Years, another Biohazard, another Biohazard, Use Your Illusion 1 and Use Your Illusion 2, Lamb of God, Green Day, Drown. I'm going to hold these up here because these need more attention. The hustle, bustle in your head grow. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep doing this. So, Watch another video. Turn this off. Go shut down YouTube and go out and enjoy the sunshine or do something. This video is terrible. You should just shut it off because this, this video is really no good. I mean, watch some of my other videos. They're kind of good, but this one, you know, not so much. You know, if you find some crazy CD you used to have back in the day. I don't know why I keep these. Probably because I have lots of CDs and I don't know what song is what. So instead of looking it up or whatever, I still have these to show me which song is which. But anyway, there's some gems in here. Feeling kind of corny. Judgment Night. Oh, what a soundtrack. What a great soundtrack. Jeez. Oh, hey, Biohazard again. Isn't that weird? Ha. <laughs> like to get out of bed with this music. Counting Crows. See, I like the weak sauce, too. <laughs> oh, that's stripper music. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Most action hero. Yeah, seriously, like, turn the video off. This is garbage, and it's not going to get any better. I'm not going to do anything funny. I'm not going to sing or dance. This is, this is the video. Hey, remember these guys? Uh, so yeah, go ahead. Turn the video off. Why are you still watching it? Come on. Why are you still watching this video? Turn it off. It's terrible. Go watch a cat video or something. Or people fighting or Antifa versus right wing or 
there's got to be a better video online than this. There's some, like, pus video or some cute dog video or... I'm a dog guy, not a cat guy. I'm sick of it all. Oh, they're so great. So great. Just yelling and screaming. Sublime. Go pull up a Sublime video and watch that. Sugar Ray. Remember them? Thank you, bitch. Like, seriously, this is all I'm going to do for a while, so... Go ahead and watch another video. Watch a baseball card video. Watch something by uh, one of those great baseball card dudes who do their channels and are much more entertaining than mine. Seriously, shut it off. Give me a uh, down arrow or unfriend me or whatever the hell the kids are doing nowadays. The video is not going to get any better. Oh, I'm one of those people, huh? Yeah. The Beastie Boy. Go read a book, maybe. Nah, I'm just kidding. Don't read. TV. YouTube all day. Stream something. Getting kind of hostile. Please, shut off the video. This isn't good. There's like people fighting and there's cats mating and there's uh, people making weird noises, people scaring other people. There's a lot better videos on YouTube. How about the guy that says, ha ha, got him. Got him. Uh, there's some cool remixes on that. You should probably check that out. It's pretty great. Or biohazard. What the heck? I don't know what that is. I was watching some videos of like case breaks or box breaks and stuff like that where people sell spots and then try to like hide the good cards and keep them themselves and put like garbage hits in there. <laughs> it was just really funny to me. There was one video where the guy kept saying discombobulated, discombobulated. As he was taking away the good card and giving him a crap hit, he kept saying the word discombobulated and laughing. Oh, yeah, jeez. Oh, that's such a great album. All these are. Every single one of these is a winner. Seriously, though, turn off the video. Cool. <laughs> Bernie Williams. Hmm. Yeah, now we're getting into the classics, right? I'm not going to play any of these musics because then they'll pull my video off or I won't be able to... Uh, not like I make money. I haven't made a penny off these yet, but it's still... I think, you know, if I had a copyright, I would protect it pretty fiercely. McCabe's Tavern rugby team. Look out. Ah, uh, it's Metallica. Nice rhyme. Yeah. So there's that. Oh, I love this album too. It's so great. So great. That's really all I'm going to do, guys. Ah, oh, sunshine on my shoulders. This is great Colorado music when you just want to, uh, you know, chill out and uh, get, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> dirty. <laughs> this guy knows. Wu Tang. Wu Tang is for the babies. If you're still watching this video, you're one of God's chosen awesome people. And uh, now my attitude is turning around and I'm giving you credit for hanging out as long as you have. Another one of my all-time favorites. Because, uh, you know, so there's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of crap out there. But there's also a lot of good, a lot of things to be thankful for. Count your blessings. 
I didn't realize I had so many of these, so I kind of apologize, but you got free will. You can put on a better video if you want. I expect to see a lot of down arrows on this because, you know, I'm really not doing or saying anything. I'm not showing off any of my collection. That's Slayer. <laughs> That's a great one. I was going to say it's an eclectic group of music, but I hate that word and it's not accurate because this is normal, this is kind of rock and heavy metal and stuff like that. So I usually don't like greatest hits albums, but this one's pretty great. Dropkick Murphys, down, and then we're going to end this terrible video with Pulse by Pink Floyd. It hey, come off an egg! <laughs>